so far my AliExpress review video has the most views on my channel so obviously there's a lot of people out there interested in these these uh, AliExpress lures and, and whether they're good or not now with the the last review so I reviewed three lures and I think it was a few too many with the limited amount of time that you have to actually film and fish uh, you can't get a very good feel of uh, what the lures are like so today I'm just gonna cut it back I'm gonna try two lures and hopefully I can put a bit more time in on each lure and uh, really get the feel. The two lures that I'm going to use I've picked today because I'm going to be fishing off the rocks and I wanted to pick something that's going to be suitable for the conditions, not just any old lure that I had in the box because I've got a whole bunch of different ones. So the first lure I'm going to use today is going to be uh, another long pilchard lure. Actually made by the same company as the lure in my first video which I will link below. Finish is just as good on this one, I have to admit. It's got the uh, nice the sealed up anchor points. It's got a really good uh, holographic paint job. Um, the detailing is nice and it definitely has some really good pilchard coloring on it. Now this minnow I think is 20 grams and uh, I believe the length is something like 15 centimeters. So quite a large lure for the area, but I know the, the local gar fish and things tend to get around this size, so size should not be an issue. It'll just be a matter of um, if the pattern is a local bait pattern. The other lure I'm going to be using today is going to be a ghost minnow. Now this lure was very, very cheap. I'm pretty happy with the quality for the price. But one thing to note is that if you do end up getting some of these lures, you'll want to take a little bit of epoxy resin uh, and seal up the anchor points because it just has open anchor points. And if you try to use it without sealing up the anchor points, it's just going to flood the lure and it'll be damaged and ruined forever. So we'll try this one out, see how it casts, see how it swims. It looks like it's got quite a large bib on it, so I'm expecting it to be a reasonably deep diver. But that's not going to be too much of an issue where we're fishing. Just make sure that if you do get this lure, seal up the anchor points before you fish it. This is a pretty good size and colouring for the local area. A lot of this, there's a lot of this sort of uh, clear white to almost sandy colour of bait fish and, and probably around this size, this, um, this 5 to 12, 5 to 12 centimetre mark. So expecting this one to be quite popular. That was a lot harder than I remember it being. Holy cow. Oh, I'm sweating bullets. Oh, but we made it to the spot. It's kind of opposite to the spot I fished in that other Gordon's Bay, a quiet day at Gordon's Bay. So we've just come to the other side of the bay. I like this spot because there's a nice little ledge here where it's nice and flat. There's a couple of different options. Plus there's some, I can see the waves breaking down on the point and they sort of roll in slowly along the edge of the uh, the bay here and by the time it gets down here it's quite calm so I can mix it up you know I can walk more towards the surf or I can walk more towards the bay depending on where the fish are biting. When I've snorkeled around here in the past I've seen quite a few yakas just schooled up and hanging out in this deep channel here as the, uh, the current's moving through just picking up little bits and pieces as they wash off the rock. Conditions at the moment are uh, high tide running out so I'm not too sure which side is going to be the better side for a run out tide, if it's going to be the shallow side or the deep side, but I'm going to fish it anyway. So why don't I tie up and, uh, and get some lure going.
If it looks like I've got wet hair, it's because my leader knot broke and I had to go for a swim, which sucks. But all in all, the lure's pretty good. I'm just going to tie on the uh, glass minnow really quickly now and play with that. If we've got some more time, I'll, I'll probably come back to this one. But I really got to uh, get this other minnow on and, uh, and test it out. Pretty good for a cheap minnow. I'm not sure what I was expecting. It dives reasonably deep and doesn't swim very well. Uh, pretty not real happy with the swim. I I reckon if you're going to get a ghost minnow, just get a decent proper one. If you want to be confident, I'd I'd go something a bit better, maybe a more premium brand or a better quality version. So that's going to be the end of the video there. Just running out of time, unfortunately. It's getting close to midday and I really need to get back to the house with the Aliexpress lures yeah I'm pretty happy with them the small pilchard the 20 gram pilchard oh, it looks really good swims really good and it works straight out of the box with the ghost minnow it's a bit annoying having to epoxy it up but if you don't mind a bit of DIY then it's really not an issue I hope you enjoyed this second Aliexpress lure review I know I can't get too much footage of the lures underwater or swimming, it's a bit difficult with my equipment at the moment, but I'm hoping you can get a feel for if someone's enjoying them, liking them, what the quality's like, that kind of thing. So if you want more re reviews, more fishing, like and subscribe. If you want to watch someone catch fish, go and check out a different channel because it doesn't really happen here. But if you want to come on some adventures, stick around.